Hey, Steve Minani here for Ambassador Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Sales Event. Ain't that a mouthful? But what's not a mouthful is this, item number 31. This is a 1955 Plymouth, I think it's a Savoy. It's a low-line car, but it's a two-door hardtop, not a pillar coupe. It's a special detail. Very nice original paint, I'm thinking, on most of this car. The front bumper is looking good. I don't see a grill. We'll explore the trunk in a moment. The V8 logo here tells us this has, for the very first time ever, a V8 in a Plymouth. Previous to 55, 1954 back, Plymouth were strictly six-cylinder or four-cylinder cars. This is the first Plymouth polyspherical head V8 on display right here. I think they call it the High Fire. Two-barrel carburetor, uh, has a heater, of course, on the firewall, manual drum brakes, uh, manual steering, but it's nice to see all of the goodies here. The generator, the radiator is correct and original. Even the oil bath air cleaner is present. And again, the firewall shows the original green sort of turquoise paint, and uh, I don't see any structural rust on this one. It's good news. Let's go to the interior where... Yeah, again, here's that two-door hardtop. No pillar. Roll the windows down, and it's nice and airy on a sunny day. Okay. Okay, the interior is uh, present and accounted for. This does have uh, the year before push buttons came along in 56. The automatic lever shift is here. AM radio, good to see. Uh, dash is all there. The padding in the center is present and accounted for. Looking really nice. Okay, let's open that up. Yeah, there's the glove compartment in the center. The original upholstery is still present on the front and rear seats. And let's check out the quarter panels with my magnet to see what we find in the way of rust or not. Okay, down here, let's wipe away the... Okay, pretty solid, little perforation right there. But again, you know, no signs of repair. This is a, a first time rust out, if you will. Nobody's been in here trying to fix it. That's good news, it's honest. At the rear of the wheel openings, nice solid Texas metal here. Uh, the rear bumper is looking good. Uh, no dents. Here's a ball for some towing. Uh, Colorado license plate, last 1991. Registration, apparently. In the trunk. Okay, here is the uh, driver's side door panel, present and accounted for. The kick panels are here. Uh, apparently some extra goodies here. The floor looks pretty good. Yeah, not a bad piece at all. And keep in mind, this is a body-on-frame car. Uh, so that uh, eases things in terms of floor repair, should you need it. We'll explore that in a second. Quarter panel on this side, quite nice. Does have a hole here. Yeah, typical stuff. But again, it would if this was Massachusetts, this would be rotted entirely. A little bit of bubbling here. But again, this is the two-door hardtop. Uh, very desirable body style inside the interior original colors and yeah the floor right there that's really nice if you can see that i don't know but uh yeah good stuff the floor on this car is not rotten uh this would be a fantastic candidate for either a restoration maybe a rat rod or a resto mod um, front fender nice and clean no rust down low and that's the story of this, lot number 31, a 1955 Plymouth two-door, probably a Savoy V8 car. You need it.